Hey, this is Colton from Whiplash PC. Today we have an AMD Phenom 2 AMD multi-core processor. This is the X6 processor. This is the 6-core version of the AMD processor. It's a 2.8 gigahertz version. Uh, there is better 6-core versions out there. This is basically one of the beginner 6-core. Don't get me wrong, this is very fast. Uh, 2.8 gigahertz 6-core processor is going to take you anywhere you want to go. It's basically equivalent to an i7. I know the i7 does beat it in some tests. I personally run an i7, but if I had to get swapped to one of these, I probably wouldn't be crying about it because I don't think I'd honestly know a difference unless I was uh, converting a movie movie file or any kind of production off of this camera that I do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open it. It's a pretty basic box. I'm surprised at actually how small the box is. AMD does a really good job at packing. There it is, the beautiful processor. And it comes with a sticker, an AMD Phenom sticker, that is. The processor itself is about the same size as all the other ones. It's got a bunch of pins, so we'll take that off and see if we can get that on there. I believe, gosh, what is this pin set? I'm not even going to try to go off and say it, but I'm pretty sure it's up around 900 pins. I'm going to try to get that up there. That's quite a bit of pins. I'll go ahead and put him back in the box and see what else we got for the cooler wise. I know some AMD coolers are better than others, but I'm kind of interested to see how hot these things get. You can always kind of tell how hot the processor gets by looking at the heat sink they include with it. So we're going to go ahead and open this box where the processor lays, or the fan lays. The fan is actually surprisingly well built. It's not very heavy, but it's got heat pipes out of the side, as you can see. And, I mean, I wish it had an AMD logo. I don't like how they don't put an AMD sticker up there and they just have, like, a bunch of numbers, because if you're putting it in a window case, that can really kill it, just because you're not going to see some cool-looking sticker. You're just going to see a white and black s sticker spinning around. I wish they would have put an AMD sticker on there, personally. That would be my advice for them to do on their next fan, but, um... The heat pipes and actual heat sink itself is very solid. I'm actually very surprised. I mean, that thing is actually very well built. And inside here, it's probably just got the install instructions. I'm looking at the instruction manuals here. It looks like this is a 940-pin processor. I know they go between 939 and 940 around there, but I'm pretty sure this is a 940-pin. I'm not 100% sure because I'm an idiot and didn't look into it, but... uh. It really doesn't matter as long as you got an AM3, AM3 socket motherboard and it's compatible pushing a 6 core to a 4 core processor. You might have to do a BIOS update and that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So I'll update a video and I'll post a link in this video of what you need to do. And that's it.